Welcome, around, people. I'm sorry, my name is Solid Tape. I'll show you guys how to create a bone setup for an IKFK snap within Blender. Alright, so just jumping in here, we're going to make an armature. I'm going to. Uh, I'm just going to tab and rotate this. I'm going to extrude this. Okay, and then I'm going to select these bones and we're going to do edit, battery name, and then we're going to set new name and we're going to select bones. And then if we go here. Okay, so we have, this is this will be our deform section. This is the main layer of the bones. And now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this. And I'm going to master name this again. These are going to be the FK bones. Or sorry, these are going to be the, we'll do the IK first. And then we're going to duplicate these again. And we're going to do these as FK. Uh, we're going to go to battery name again. Yep going to paste this and we're just going to name this uh, copy copy rotation and okay so now we have our sets of bones so what I'm gonna do just to okay so I've labeled all of the bones so as you can see they're all stacked here it's kind of hard to tell so what I've set up is I have the deform bone the IK the FK and then the actual copy rotation and in your rig let's say like this would be the beginning of the arm that you would attach this to uh, per se a COG or like an upper torso bone uh, but for this case we're just going to leave this as is. So with the deformed bones these ones um, for the IKFK switch you're going to have a copy transform. So we're going to do we're going to go to bone constraint we're going to do two copy transforms so I'm going to put this so our first one uh, always for your target it's going to be your armature whatever you call the rig and then we're going to attach this to the IK. So for this case, this is the green box. So I'm just going to type in IK. And then we'll keep this all default. And then for the second one, this is very important, as the order of operations has to be um, the same for it to work, we're going to do FK second. And then the actual FK, you're going to have a driver for this. So you're going to have a switch that will turn uh, this on or off so that way um, you can have the IK turned on and then FK off and um, so on and so forth so I'm actually going to go back into here I'm just going to bring so this bone is going to be our switch so I'll rename this to switch and then I'm going to take away this okay so now that we have our copy stuff here what we're going to do is we're going to make that switch now so I'm going to go up into here. I'm going to do custom properties. I'm going to hit new. I'm just going to label this um, just like uh, FK slash IK switch. And then make sure it's library overrides for when you import stuff. And I think that'll be good. Double check it. Okay. So we're going to copy this data path. And we're going to go to deform. And specifically on the FK, we're going to add driver. And then we're going to do single property, select the armature, and then paste the value, and then make sure you get rid of the plus one. And so now, as you can see, we turn that to zero, and we go back into here, that's zero. So now IK will be on, FK will be off. So that's all set up. So first up, for the IK, we're going to do a copy transform. It's going to be, oops, armature. And then we're going to select the copy rotation bone. Delete this. Um, and then we're now going to grab the driver from the deform bone. We're going to place this on the IK bone. And then I want this to be one minus. As um, right now, the you would use the IK controller, so it doesn't need to copy the rotation as you want it to. You want to be able to control it. And then uh, so we have the copy rotation. So we need this to be driven by the FK bone. So we're not gonna do copy transform because of interpolation. It freaks out, doesn't like it. So we're just going to do it manually. So we're gonna go in the FK, we're gonna copy data path. We're gonna do the copy rotation. We're going to add a driver. We're going to do single property, not transform channel as it does the same problem as the copy transform. And we're just going to paste this and then make sure this is just one, it's not being added. And we're going to paste this driver. And then in the path, we're just going to change this to 1, as that means x, 0 means w, and so on and so forth. 
and a driver, it's going to be 2. And then Z is 3. Okay, so now that is all set up. The IK should now work with the copy rotation. The FK is driving this. Now we just need to do a copy transform for the FK to IK because this will work because the IK is following this. There is no uh, intersecting uh, values, so it works good. Um, we're going to go to armature and then we're going to select IK. This one, I believe. We're going to add. And then. Yes, okay, perfect, because we want the FK to be following the IK at this point. Okay, so now that we have this chain going, I'm going to do this for the rest. Okay, so now all of the bones should be set, so I'm going to double check. So this is on IK, so we go to the green, we have this, pose it, as you can see, the FK is following, and then we're going to switch this back. So now we are on FK, and as you can see, it is moving everything, no weird bugs, anything like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the actual IK joints as this, everything is still in FK. And then I've also locked all of the deformed bones as you will not be posing these ones. And then same with the copy rotation. These ones will um, stay as they are. So for the IK, what we're going to do is we're going to top view. We're going to get this bend gun kind of going. So the arm knows where uh, sort of to bend. And then we're going to go to normal. I'm going to select all of these bones. And then I'm going to hit alt and I'm going to hit zero. And then hopefully it should bend this way. Um, and if not, we'll just adjust that. So now going back from that, we're going to select this bone. We're going to extrude. I'm going to delete this backbone. So we want the front bone. I'm going to detach it. And then I'm going to not scoot it forward, just make sure that's all good. I'm going to renew this IK control. And then going back into the pose mode, I'm going to select this bone, extrude up. And we want this bone at the bend point. We're going to undo this parent and then we're going to scoot. Oops. We're going to select it. We're going to scoot it out a little bit. We're going to call this pull, IK pull control. Okay, so that's good. And then. We are now just going to set up the armature. So on the IK, we're going to hit inverse kinematics. I want this to be first, do armature. And then we're going to do the IK control. We're do a target length of we'll do three, as it just bends better um, because this doesn't have a sitting spot um, per se, like, a, like an upper torso or a COG, stuff like that. And then our pull target, we want the armature. And then we want the pull. Okay. So we're already getting some weird results. So we're going to see. So this is on the wrong side. So we'll do like that. So let me go into edit mode. Okay, perfect. And then just test it. Perfect. Okay, so this is bending the correct way. We need to actually turn this IK off um, as this should be. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, we're going to select this driver. We're going to paste this, and then we're going to do. We're going to take out the one, so we want this to be off by default. So now, there we go. So now that's working. And then we want the pull. Obviously, we want the pull and the IK to follow these actual bones. So we're going to talk about that next. Okay. So let's attach this IK controller. So what we're going to do is we're going to do copy transforms. We're going to do armature, and then we're going to do to this bone. The, the end one, and this is going to kind of be a little bit weird, but that's okay. So we're going to scoot this out, and then uh, because the orientation is a little bit different, it's going to just show up like this, but uh, for rotation for IK controllers, you usually don't use that, so it should be okay. And then, so right now we are in, we're in FK mode, so we want, uh, we want this to be one. So I'm going to select this driver. We're going to paste this and then we're going to do one minus so that by default it is turned on. So now if we move this, as you can see, this is moving. So for the IK pull, what you can do is you can attach it to the actual IK handle so that this way when it moves, right, you can adjust and kind of rotate this thing. So I'm going to just demonstrate 
Um, so this is on IK, so we're going to select all of the FK controllers. We're going to hit uh, apply visual transform to pose, and then I'm just going to merge it back. And so now we're back in FK, as you can see. And then if you want to go backwards, we just do select all of the IK controllers. Make sure you select all of them, including the pole and the um, actual IK controller. And then just go back. And then usually for this, yeah, you're going to have to like readjust the pole even if you do bind it. But get the same result. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video.